On the table, let's take a trip to Camp Cretaceous. Hey everyone, Dan over at Squirrel Stampede. We've got some new dinosaurs to look at. Camp Cretaceous, Extreme Damage, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and a few others to take a look at. Pretty interesting stuff. Welcome to Jurassic Park, home of the T-Rex. Yes, we have a T-Rex. Wait a second, is that the John Hammond from the Isla Nublar escape set? With two raptors and Dr. Ellie Sattler too? It is I, and now the box is empty. Hold on. It, it is empty. What is going on here? Now come along and journey with me through Jurassic Park. Oh, oh. Squirrel Stampede. Please squirrel. Squirmant. And a squirrel eye. Alright, the star of the show today is the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the extreme damage Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. This T-Rex really interests me because it doesn't have a sound effect feature this time and mainly just a really cool bodily scrape up damage thing going throughout the torso. And it's a little bit smaller than some of the past T-Rexes we've looked at. Over on the back of the box, extreme damage, double sided damage and mouth that chomps open extra wide, plus we can continue on and scan our dinosaur feet for the Dinosaur Fact app. One of our favorite things to do around here. I guarantee. Okay, anyhow, let's get this dinosaur out of this package. And out of the box are extreme damage Tyrannosaurus Rex, needing a quick little installation of its tail. And we are good to go. And we have a T-Rex, a T-Rex on the table, actually standing pretty tall when up on her uprights higher up. For the scale of the dinosaur, she's taking up a pretty good amount of space and also pretty well detailed with a good dinosaur skin sculpt and some pretty good paint work going throughout. Yeah, she's really got some height over Hammond right now. You can lower her down a little bit more. I think this is kind of closer to how she naturally wants to stand out of box as a toy. The large steady flat footprints Mattel gives these dinosaurs too are awesome because they stand so well. You really rarely have any problems in getting these guys to stand and not fall over. So let's check out this extreme damage action feature, which I'm all on board for. It's nice to have something a little different than a sound effect and to activate over on the back of her back behind her hips. We've got a button to activate. Actually, right now she is in damaged mode. Now she's feeling a little healthier. So you can see down her midsection here, a whole bunch of scratches and damages and bite marks. Not a very good day for the T-Rex. Right now she's healthy, but to activate, just simply press down and it rotates around and you've got some gnarly damage in there. And it happens to be on both sides and a little bit different scratch pattern here. It looks like a Velociraptor probably did the damage there. And going back to normal, really simple feature, nice and solid switch too. Makes for a lot of fun play. I'd like to see dino damage like this a little more often. <laughs> you know what's really damaging is Squirrel Stampede's ratings. <laughs> that is right. Squirrel Stampede is so boring that it would take 65 million years for anyone to pay attention to him. <laughs> <laughs> if Squirrel Stampede wanted real Jurassic World intelligence, he would need to download Raptor Intelligence to become super smart. <laughs> that is correct. Squirrel Stampede is so dim-witted about dinosaurs. These scratch marks are clearly done by an enormous Indominus Rex. <laughs> Correct. An Indominus Rex so large it would eat any dinosaur large to small. <laughs> ah! Well, anyhow, I'm really impressed with this Tyrannosaurus Rex. Also featured is some good articulation. We can open and close this mouth pretty wide. Look at the mouth wideness stance on this T-Rex. That is huge. That can really take a bite. I think it's double hinged maybe. Yeah, we've got a hinge down here and a hinge up top creating a great grasp of bite. Plus the detail work on the tongue is looking really good. Then also we've got a little rotation on the top part of the neck 
for moving side to side and a little bit of rotation. It just kind of depends on where you're angling her and a little more on the other side of the neck. So plenty of neck movement. We've got moving forearms, little tiny T-Rex forearms. The legs are a little tight. She wants to stand like so, but you can bend her up a little bit higher. It's just a little bit tight. I think they're loosening up. You've got a little bit of outward range too and a little bit of foot movement to stabilize her and to this tail back here I'm still trying to figure out what direction it really goes does it place like this I think that's upside down if you can kind of see there's just a little subtle difference in paint color it matches when it's in this direction a little bit better but it could really go any different way but this is a stunning extreme damage t-rex keep an eye out if you're a fan of the t-rex and that I guarantee all right, T-Rex, move on, and let's check out some more dinosaurs from Camp Cretaceous. So here's a dinosaur featured early on in the series of Camp Cretaceous, the Cynoceratops. What is that, episode two or three? We get a great episode on the Cynoceratops herd. I don't have too many herbivores in my collection, and this one looked pretty neat. In fact, I don't know if I have a Triceratops in my collection, but the Cynoceratops looks pretty nice. I'm glad to introduce it into my collection. This is in the Primal Attack Sound Strike category of dinosaurs. Moving tail about should rotate her head about with a double head strike, it says, and included some sort of Camp Cretaceous card pack. Well, let's get Cinny out of the box. Or is it Siny? Siny, Siny, what would be a good nickname? Another nicely done primal attack dinosaur from Mattel. Look at this head. This is such an interesting head, the way her horns curl around. Very interesting sculpt. Kind of a mud green in paint. She's not going to stand out very much. I guess that's kind of what you want to do if you're a herbivore, blend in. Good scale on the toy. There's a lot of meat to eat on it. I think they'll probably be a pretty good fan base for this toy. How do we get the feature to work? So we've got a double head ram feature. I think this might be one where if you move the tail up and down. Well, what do you know? I forgot there was sound already. Uh, move tail up and down, head moves up and down. And I think tail side to side or rotating. We rotate head. by turning the tail. So rotate tail to rotate head, lift tail up and down to lift head up and down. So a lot of great control over these. These have been so much fun. They seem to get more advanced each time around. And for articulation, there's a little bit in the legs. You can kind of pull them out a little bit and rotate them. But really, I don't think you're going to want to do too much with that because she's four-legged. She's going to just be standing most of the time. So it's just there if you need that. Pretty good. I kind of wish there was a little more vibrancy in the paintwork on her crest. There's a little bit of orange work there. I wish that would stand out a little more. But we're just nitpicking here on a great dinosaur. And right now, John Hammond is offering a two-for-one dinosaur special. Take a hotel suite, get a hot tub, and a mini refrigerator. I don't know what he's talking about. I really don't. All right, Cynoceratops, head on out and let's check out another dinosaur. Next up, let's look at the Monolophosaurus. I don't think I did that any justice. Monolophosaurus. Monolophosaurus. Did I get that right? Have I seen this episode? I don't know if I've seen this episode. The smaller dinosaur pack here. Oh, I forgot to get the card out on the other pack. We'll get that out in a second. Fighting action, action feature. I like the look of this green eye. Let's get out of box and look a little closer here. And the Monolophosaurus out of pack. This is a cute little dinosaur, kind of bird-like in its head. Action feature of chomping jaws. Pretty good articulation, rotating and moving arms and legs and a little bit of tail rotation maybe. Now the tail is locked into the action feature, that's right. These little dinosaurs are certainly a lot of fun. I think the paintwork on this one is really spot on nice. You've got a nice yellow mustard back with a little ketchup on her nose and that green eye. Check out that green eye and the way she kind of hauntingly looks back at you. 
and a good price point on these smaller dinosaurs. And right now, don't forget, buy one ticket on the Cretaceous Coaster and get a third ticket free. I don't even know the math. Okay, what's our next dinosaur? We have a Parasaurolophus. Did I say that right? I'm having such a tough time pronouncing dinosaurs today. <laughs> Just today? Squirrel Stampede mangles the pronunciation of dinosaurs every day. Oh dear. So the Parasaurolophus. Lophus. Parasaurolophus. Sound strike and a really stunning paintwork on this one. Look at the shiny metallic going down her back. This is the first, I believe, of the larger Parasaurolophus that we've looked at on Squirrel Stampede. Don't believe I've opened one before. Primal Attack as well. And on the back, also a double head strike toy. So with the rotation and the up and down bobbing head. And another card. I keep forgetting to look at the cards. Got to get to the cards. All right, let's get her out. Where'd my scissors go? Ah, there we are. It's a little freaky how easy they are to take out a box sometimes. It's a little freaky how low our prices are at Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Only $20,000 per visit. So as paint-wise goes, the best dinosaur of the day with that metallic striping down her back, the yellow mustard body, really a great contrast on her. I also like the arm length on the Parasaurs. They just stand out longer. She can kind of stand on them, or you can kind of pull her back up a little bit on those hind legs, but I don't think she's going to stand. This tail is in the way. It would have been nice had we been able to stand her up on her back legs a little bit. She's going to kind of wobble forward. I don't see this one too much in stores anymore. In fact, I think this was around Christmas time that I picked her up. She's been nicely waiting nearby for me to pick up a few more dinosaurs to show her off. As for the action feature, again, we'll rotate for head rotation. Not exactly the sound effect I would have liked to have heard from her. I hear a little bit of the ooh, but I would have liked to have heard a little more echo and strength to the hornish sound of a Parallophosaurus. Really nice looking herbivore. Keep an eye out. I think you can still find her from time to time. A little trickier, but a great one to look for. Also, look out for the Jurassic World Buffet. $10.99 gets you five buckets of shrimp. Mmm, buckets of shrimp. What do we got next today? Why it's the Plesiosaurus! Not really a dinosaur, is it? But it is from Camp Cretaceous. Kind of small. It's probably going to have to be used as a baby Plesiosaurus. Savage Strike. Paddling action feature. And another card I forgot to open. Let's get the Plesiosaurus out. Ah, she's kind of adorable. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Very small. I'd love to see a very large scale version of this dinosaur. Something on the lines of the scale of the Mosasaurus would be great. Action feature. How do we get these legs to flipper? There we go. Pretty simple on the feature there. The head on the neck here. Oh, okay. It's just an articulated neck. You can raise up and or go straight down. And you can even open up the mouth. Very fish-like teeth eater dinosaur. A cute little smaller scale dinosaur. Keep an eye out for Plesiosaurus. Is this already the last dinosaur of today? The Cryolophosaurus? I guess it just must be. Don't worry. Every time you return to Jurassic World, you find new dinosaurs. That is, of course, as long as you pay for admission. <laughs> oh, mommy, I can see the freeze. I'm hoping to get that new Spinosaurus Camp Cretaceous soon, so keep an eye out for that video. I think it might be another month away, though. The Gryloophosaurus, though, is a nice dinosaur. In fact, I think this is a repaint. We've kind of seen her before, but I really like this repaint. We've got more head strike action and sound strike. Let's open up and see how she looks out of pack. And there we go, a nice midnight blue with a red back and crest on her nose. One of my favorites from the Mattel series of Dinosaur Toy. Testing out that tail. Almost a little bit of a snake sound in there. 
So sure enough, a repaint the previous one we had looked at was a nice mustard yellow with an orange brown back. Same color orange crest on top, so these two look really good together. I could see a dinosaur exhibit with these two. It's like Mabel and Henrietta together. They're best of friends. Come to Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous to see Mabel and Henrietta. And good articulation on her too. The typical legs that move out, you can rotate. Forearms that can move out and rotate. Just one of my favorites. To keep an eye out for. Speaking of favorites, you should check out this dinosaur I just cloned. We've got Larry Koopa. I think that's more of a turtle, Hammond. But we've got Larry Koopa today. That's really odd. Larry is one of seven Koopalings, a group of Bowser's trusted lackeys. He's got a quick temper and uses a wand to shoot out magic, mostly at mustached plumbers. How did this really get in this video? Quality control at Squirrel Stampede, I tell you what. <laughs> We've always tried to tell you, this halfwit doesn't know quality control. <laughs> oh, yeah. So let's get Larry out of package. Larry's got good looks for a possible Camp Cretaceous dinosaur mishap in the cloning lab. Nice vibrant blue shell with the yellow spikes. Holding on to the magic wand, a nice big puff of blue hair on his head. Star on the side of his head too. Thanks for stopping by, Larry. Anytime. So that brings us toward the end, I think, of the dinosaurs to show. Bringing back the T-Rex, we can start scanning some feet. Oh, real quick, those little Camp Cretaceous cards in many of these packs are actually little sticker packs. They come with about five stickers and a little Camp Cretaceous map so you can place the stickers on. Very basic, kind of interesting why they included this, not really sure. Interesting little promotional piece there. It's been quite a while since I've opened up the Dino app. We've got the Dino Escape feature now, so there's new dinosaurs in here. I don't think I've run into Dino Escape toys yet. So that'll be kind of fun once those start appearing. Hopefully again there's a great Spinosaurus toy coming and there's some great figures of some of the various characters from Camp Cretaceous starting to appear finally. Well let's scan this new T-Rex. There should be a scan code right on the foot here and we'll give her a quick run through. There's our T-Rex, and this one you can see the battle damage on her. Oops, as I move away from her, oh, I lost her. There she is. Tyrannosaurus Jurassic videos now in here. That's interesting. Look at that. We've got a little screen capture of, that looks like uh, the Lost World when we are in San Diego with the T-Rex. How funny that they've included that now. And then some more images from the end of Lost World, I believe that is. So now we've got some videos to look at. Just taking a look at her, I think we can rotate. So yeah, now we can see her scratch marks in there. I always wish we could zoom in. Just basic rotation and, and then of course, some factoids. T-Rex has maternal instincts and she can care for her offspring. She is an ambush predator relying on surprise attacks to catch her prey. Her short arms can each lift roughly 400 pounds, no way. She is the greatest carnivore of all time. That kind of feels like uh, an opinion. Let's see if we can scan in our Paralophosaurolophosaurus now. Aw, looking pretty good. A little cuter than the T-Rex today. Wonder what we have for videos. Oh, there she is in herds. Oh, that's a really quick one right there. Let's see if we can hear her roar again. Kind of like a horn-like sound. Any factoids we can learn real quick? The crests of males and females are significantly different. Her hundreds of teeth are continually replaced. Parasaurophilus live in groups to protect themselves. And she has acute vision and great sense of humor. Oh, hearing. And the T-Rex just waking up from her nap. Let's scan in our Cynoceratops. That's a good look for her. A little darker green on the app. I like that darker green. Oh, there she is from Fallen Kingdom. I remember this scene with the Carnotaurus. I don't recall realizing that that was a Cynosaurus in the movie. How funny. And a couple factoids for us. She is an herbivore feeding on palm trees and marsh plants. 
The name is Sinoceratops, means Chinese horned face. Oh, interesting. The remains of only one Sinoceratops have been found so far, really. And in the film, the Sinoceratops primarily communicates through snorts and grunts. All right, nice. Let's do one more, one more scan. Let's try this one right here. I wish it would help with pronunciation on these. The Monolophilophosaurus. Oh, that's a cute one. She looks good. She's got kind of a pointier nose than you see on the figure. And there's lots of little spines going down her back, too. You don't really see that on the toy very well. Factoids. She likely prowls lake beds and riversides for smaller herbivore dinosaurs. A crest runs down the center and the top of her head. Unlike the bigger Tyrannosaurus Rex, she has three fingered hands. She is a medium sized theropod whose fossils were found in China. Well, I always like playing around with that app, it is quite a bit of fun. Just as much fun as touring Jurassic Park in a Ford Explorer. Thank you, Hammond. And that's Camp Cretaceous, another grand assortment of dinosaurs today. If you like the video, please give us a squake, a squirrel eye, and squament your favorite dinosaur that we saw today or that we may be seeing soon. Hopefully that Spinosaurus. And isn't there like a Scorpius Rex or something people keep commenting about? I would love to see that. Anyhow, thanks for watching. That's what I have to say about that.